No matter how old you are, you are going to simply adore this recipe. I'm going to let Trish introduce it because it's a mouthful, this one. <laughs> it is. <laughs> the peanut butter and chocolate biscuit fudge. Oh, that wasn't too bad. It's a mouthful, <laughs> but it's very easy to make, which makes up for it. Wonderful. So we've got lots of chocolate here today. Mm -hmm. We have. It's really easy though. All we need to do to start getting things rolling here is to melt the chocolate. Mm -hmm. And because we're melting the chocolate with some other ingredients today, we actually don't need to do it over simmering water. Okay. We do need to be careful with the heat and keep it fairly low. But because we're melting it with some condensed milk... That's two blocks you want? That's right, okay. two blocks. Mm -hmm. um, the thing that will help them to melt through quickly is to breaking, breaking them into their pips. And while you're doing that with the second one, I'm going to add the... Condensed milk to the saucepan. Do you know what this sauce reminds me of? Well, it's not a sauce, but mm -hmm. the, you know when you have churros, mm -hmm. the Spanish churros Yum. with that chocolate-rich sauce that goes with it? <laughs> That's what they do. They put the condensed milk mm. and the chocolate and it just... Wait until you see how glossy this turns out. Delicious. All right, so... So you said little bits? Mm-hmm. Yep, just break them into the pips. Mm -hmm. Pips. Pips. So we just need to stir that over low heat so that it'll melt gently. Yeah. And I always notice you use metal spoons mm -hmm. when you're mixing your chocolate. Yeah, I always use a metal spoon. The reason for that is that wooden spoons contain moisture and moisture tends to be the natural born enemy of chocolate. Mm -hmm. So uh, the other thing is with wooden spoons is that they hold flavours. So if you've made a curry the night before... Mm -hmm and you wash your spoon, for all intents and purposes it may seem really clean and it's fine to put in your next savoury dish, but sometimes the flavours held within the wood because it's porous yeah. can uh, taint the flavour of your chocolate, which mm -hmm. kind of so spoils it. macadamia nuts here, and what is this here? OK, well, that's one of my favourite things. That's glacé ginger, mm. which uh, kind of, well, I guess gives it a bit of a grown-up flavour to the fudge, but, you know, certainly you can swap that out with maybe glacé cherries or something like that. Just have a little taste. Mm, oh, it's so good. Yeah. Do you want me to chop that up? Or you yes, want please. That can just be roughly chopped. It's absolutely delicious, but in those big chunks, I think it might be a yeah. bit much. <laughs> so this is about ready now. The other thing that I need to add is some peanut butter. Crunchy peanut butter. Yeah, crunchy. My favourite. <laughs> Preferred crunchy than smooth, I think. Yeah, I, look, I think, you, preference. <laughs> I, think, I think you're either in one camp or another with peanut <laughs> butter. <laughs> that is very true. This gives it a really great flavour. And it works really well with the addition of the extra nuts in the macadamias. And they've been uh, toasted in the oven. Mm -hmm. I just think that that helps to bring their flavour up really well. Yeah. Right, so we need to stir that through as well. We need and to put you want in the, the nuts. Glace ginger? The ginger. Here it goes. Yum. OK, there's the macadamias. That's the lot. So a quick stir through, and then these ingredients can go into a prepared slice tin. Make sure that you line it, otherwise you might have a difficult job trying to get it out. It's that reassurance when after it's set, there'll be no problems, <laughs> it'll be able to come out. Well, you don't want to go to all that trouble and be sitting there trying to jackhammer it out, do you? <laughs> OK, now this is done. Oh, I can smell peanut mm. butter in there. Mm. Naughty. Ginger. <laughs> Yum. There we are. Gosh, this is, this is one of those things for a special treat. <laughs> to make one of these, isn't it? We never need an excuse for no, a special treat. treat. I just can't stop smiling whenever you come to this I kitchen, know, I Trish, because I know we're going to be making something. Something delicious. Yummy. <laughs> I know, we always make everyone happy, don't we? All right, so you can just spread that out into the pan. Mm -hmm. What and have you got then, here? These little mini fingers. Well, that is the decoration. They're a terrific size for this because you can make almost like a little basket weave pattern on the top. Okay. So, you. yeah, I need your help. You can sort of stack three one way and three another. It sort of dresses it right up. And when you continue on like that, you get this lovely sort of basket weave look to the top of it. Oh, and it do. looks really pretty. And then what do we do? We just put it in the fridge? No, nope, just allow it to set. So it's a great thing to make the day before, but even so, it can set within half an hour or yeah. so and it's ready to slice. And off you go. Done. Trish, that didn't take long at all to harden up in the fridge, did it? No, it's really quick, actually. Yeah. Now all we need to do is to chop it. We've done the lines already. Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> it's beautiful. Fudgy. Fudgy. Yummy. We can see the macadamia nuts, the ginger throughout that. Oh. I like the combination. I like the peanut, the ginger idea. Look, it works really well together and the best part of it is that you can use it as a base and add your own ingredients. You can change the nuts, you can change yeah. the fruit. So, well, look at that big chunky one. That one's mine. <laughs> <Bags>. <laughs> 
One more on top. <laughs> that is yummy. And it's look, done. Fudgy, like we said, crunchy on the top with those little mini fingers. It's a cute thing. And like I said before, any age, you'll have to love this one. I, I promise you, you'll love this one. Absolutely. And it's quick as a week to make.